to Belgium where my dad worked in the coal mines. We finally were able to leave Europe and ended up in Canada. We came over on a ship, the SS Nelly it was called, and for took a couple days. I had the run of the ship because I was only five or six years old, so I went all over the place. Grade school, flunked the first grade. <laughs> I had no knowledge. I didn't know how to speak the language, so my parents didn't either. So I didn't know what the heck I was doing, and there was no one teaching you. You just had to pick it up on your own. High school. Oh, high school was when we moved to Warren. Then I went to high school, Fitzgerald High School, a nine mile in Rhine. And that's where I finished my schooling. Lawrence Tech for mechanical engineering, but school wasn't for me, so I dropped out. I tried again for school. I went to Macomb for night school and that. School wasn't for me, so I turned into a carpenter. I was going to Macomb when I met her, Macomb Community College. It was after Lawrence Tech. I actually picked her up on the street. <laughs> Buddies of mine were driving by and one buddy says, oh, I know that girl. So let's give her a lift to her house. I says, okay. So we gave her a lift, not knowing that a year or two later, I'd meet her in church. And we clicked from then on and that was it. Marriage, September 28th, 1969. Pro 12th, Uncle Sam called and said, report for induction May 12th, and the wedding was supposed to be on May 31st, so that never happened then. And I figured, once I got out of basic and AIT, I you know, was off for three or four days, I says, that's when we're gonna get married. So actually when I went over after NCO school, I was a sergeant already. I didn't try to get any medals for anything else. <laughs> well, once you go to NCO school, you uh, that's your rank when you leave. It was either NCO school, which is being a sergeant in that category, or I had another option, OCS. Officer Candidate School. Actually, when I came back to being a father, somehow I took to the baby with no problem. Took care of her, changed diapers. Oh, like a proud dad, of course. You know, walking your granddaughter, walking your daughter down the aisle and giving her to somebody else. Yeah. That was. That was great, that was great. Uh, well, leiomyosarcoma, a soft tissue cancer, they say Agent Orange from Vietnam. I got a whiff of it someplace. Who knows? Who knows how much time I have left? <laughs>